Hi guys, welcome to this session on LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can automatically strike through a task and color it red when it is complete. For example, if I click into this cell and type one, that's the trigger for a flag. The flag appears and then this task is struck through and colored red. If I do it again for task three, pressing one, flag comes up and it is struck through like so. So this is using conditional formatting and so is this with a formula option. So what I want to do is quickly go through how I set this up. So I'll come across this side a little bit, get myself into column E, just type myself five tasks, so task one down to five and then in this area I want to put conditional formatting in there so I'm just going to go into conditions, I want icon sets so when you click on icon sets you get a set of icons which you can have a look at so i went for three flags and you get the three flags there what i need to do is change both of these to values and then i'm just going to put a value in the green flag of one that is what i want to use to trigger a green flag i'm going to leave that blank click ok to that now if i type one in there I should get a green flag but I've also got the number if I highlight all of this I'm just going to change the font to white so it doesn't show click on font color white so it's not showing it just shows the flag now in this section what I need to do is create a style a new style you can see I've got a style over here called sax that's the style I created so what I need to do is create a new one and then you can apply that style so I'm going to go into conditional condition so it comes up with this so this is a condition that I'm going to use so it's got there um, equal to and then you've got the, the wherever the cell reference is now I don't want this because this needs to be a formula option so if I just um, let me just cancel this for a second just click on top cell go into that one do it this way around so condition it wants to be a formula option so formula is and then I'm just going to click onto that cell but I need to take the dollar sign off the two because I'm going to clone it down in a second so I'll just get rid of that and it says apply style accent I don't want that I want to make my own so in there you've got the option for new style so new style comes up I'm going to call this new style Steve and it's going to be based on text and then then you go and edit the style so basically um, what I need to do is go to font effects so font color I want to be red and I want it straight through single line straight through like so click OK to that click OK so now I've got that struck through if I type one there I get the flag but it's not struck through so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that one I'm going to use the clone feature to wipe it over these four and then that should work for each one so if I type one I'll get a completed task like so so that's using conditional formatting with a formula and I've created my own new style which you can see over here sitting underneath Sachs Steve those are the same two styles to be honest but they sit there and this is conditional formatting just using the icon sets. So hopefully that little video is of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.